Captain Bill Gustin here with today's roll call tip. This is a pressure reducing valve. It is found on sprinkler systems, standpipe systems, and combination sprinkler and standpipe systems. This particular valve is a cutaway of a zone or floor control valve. This would be connected to a standpipe to control the flow of water to a sprinkler on a specific floor, say in a high-rise building. The purpose of this valve is to keep system pressures. That would be the pressure on the discharge side, the outlet side of the valve from exceeding 175 PSI in both static and flow. First thing firefighters need to know is how to identify a PRV, a pressure reducing valve. One telltale sign is a large bonnet, but that is not always going to be the case. The other is take the cap off. In this case, this is a sprinkler valve, so there is no cap. If it was a standpipe outlet, take the cap off. There's a smooth, non-threaded valve stem. Again, smooth, non-threaded. I want to show you this. When we open this valve, you can see that the floating valve stem, which again is smooth, if you were to put your finger in here, you would feel it smooth. There's no thread, and these are not mechanically connected. The way that this valve functions is that water on the downstream side of the valve enters this waterway, fills this chamber, and exerts a downward force on this floating valve. When the valve throttles itself from being completely closed or completely open in response to changes in the downstream pressure. For instance, the valve appears to be open. There may even be an indicator that says open, but the valve is actually closed and will remain closed until there is a reduction in the downstream pressure. Let's say that a sprinkler head is activated and is flowing. In that case, the pressure is reduced, allowing the plunger to rise, either completely open or at least partially open. When the flow is stopped from the sprinkler head, pressure is transmitted back in the downstream side through the waterway into this chamber, which exerts a downward thrust on the valve. Now, there are field adjustable valves that actually have a spring that assists in opening this plunger and Depending upon the make and model, you may, firefighters may be able to adjust that spring. But the spring actually assists in opening the valve. So remember, pressure reducing valve controls pressure both in static and flow to keep it at or below 175 PSI. Used in both sprinkler systems, standpipe systems, you may see a large bonnet but the, the real key is the smooth stem that is not mechanically connected to the threaded valve stem. This is Bill Gustin with a brief overview of pressure reducing valves.